Those jams just keep on popping up one right after another. Those Lost 45s on WJRD, on Tuscaloosa, top 11 plus 50 survey. That's 1150 WJRD right here in Tuscaloosa. <clears throat> Back on October 31st, 1966. Up to song number 22. Boy, we got the great airplane strike by Paul Rivera the Raiders. I love the sound effects. Got the jets going, although it sounds more like racing cars than jets. And I love sounds with songs with sound effects in them. And there were quite a few songs that had sound effects back in the day, back in the 60s. There was like Summer in the City, for example, by uh, The Love and Spoonful, The Great Airplane Strike by Paul Rivera and the Raiders. The album is called The Spirit of 67. That's right, baby. We're getting into it. Right, get into that rock and roll spirit with Paul Revere and the Raiders, just like me in 1965. And there was kicks, and then you got hungry, hungry in the summer of 1966. And uh, of course, the great airplane strike, strike in the fall of 66, which didn't do too well for them. I forgot the chart position on this record, but did not make top 10. I don't didn't make top 20 either for Paul Revere and the Raiders, I don't think. But then they came back with good thing. Boy, that thing roared right into the top 10 late 66. And there was ups and downs. And of course, one of my favorite songs by Paul Revere and the Raiders is that Him or Me got a little bit of that country picking going back in the spring of 67. <laughs> I talk about the spirit of 67 right there. The spirit of 67, it was Paul Revere and the Raiders' sixth studio album produced by Terry Melcher. Terry Melcher was one of the big producers of the California sound back in the 60s. Uh, with Bruce Johnston, uh, they formed the Rip Chords. Bruce Johnston and uh, uh, Terry Melcher formed the Rip Chords. They had that huge hit, Hey Little Cobra, uh, and then uh, later on he became a staff producer at Columbia Records. He produced uh, Turn, Turn, Turn by the Birds, Terry Melcher did, and along with uh, Mr. Tambourine Man by the Birds, produced those records. Uh, Terry Melcher, he produced this album by Paul Revere and the Raiders. Phenomenal producer back in the day, uh, Terry Melcher. And uh, let's go to this album by Paul Revere and the Raiders. Let's just go into some of the album cuts on this thing. This was uh, uh, probably one of their best albums, Paul Revere and the Raiders. Of course, you got Good Thing. That's uh, Side One, uh, Cut One, Side One. That was written by Mark Lindsay and Terry Melcher. And Louise is on here. Louise, God, Mark Lindsay, he cut some just absolutely incendiary vocals on that record. Louise and uh, Hungry, yes, Hungry, written by Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil at uh, cut number seven. That's on side two. But one of the most intriguing records that Paul Revere and the Raiders ever did. You got to listen to it. You've never heard of it. 1001 Arabian Nights. It's just very slow. I mean, Martin Lindsay is singing in this very slow, hypnotic, sultry voice. It's, it's sort of a just telling a story like around a campfire, a half whisper. And uh, that song was written by Mark Lindsay and Terry Melcher. And of course, the last cut off this album is The Great Airplane Strike. And that song is coming in at number 22 on WJRD survey of October 31st, 1966.